If you joined our Power Hour a few weeks ago, this data set might look a little familiar. And what I can do here is I'm going to extract this curb and gutter around this island. And to access this new command, all I have to do is go to the point clouds tab and then go to the extract line feature command over on the right hand side. And once this launches, you can see that there is the extract tab open along with some extraction type options. So for this one, I'm going to go with curb and gutter. Uh, we do give you the ability to set the line, set the line settings up front. So set your layer, color, et cetera, and a collapsible menu to save room in the UI. Um, and then the first step we have to do is come in here and define a cutting planes with two points. So what I'm going to do is do a top down approach here. I'm going to grab a point in the landscaping bed and then one over here in the asphalt. And once I grab that second point, the cutting plane view will pop up in the bottom. And you can see we have a nice cross section view of the point cloud, really capturing that data set of the curb and gutter. Uh, once I have that loaded up, I have the curb, and, uh, the curb pattern definition ready to be defined. Uh, so as you can see, there's four nodes. Imagine just being out in the field with your rod and your unit. Um, you can basically come right in here and say, okay, this is, this is going to be my back of curb point as node one. The top of curb over here is node two. The flow line here, three. And I think I see a little bit of a dip here with the asphalt coming into the curb design as node four. And if you're even second guessing these picks of the nodes, a good tip is you can always zoom into the 3D view and see where your picks land. So right here, let me bump up the size of the points real quick. So you can see here that I have my points pretty well picked. I'm happy with those selections. Um, once you define those four nodes, you also have this directional arrow, um, at which point you can, if you're not, if you don't want to extract this way north, then you can do a switch direction and go south. That, that option's available. And then you also, okay, so once you define your nodes, you can come down here and say, I want to define my interval extraction. Um, and what I can do here is use the slider bar to do so. Or I can just simply enter in a value here. And for this, I'll just go with four meters. And then I can define a minimum confidence percentage level right here, meaning that the algorithm will search at a 90% confidence level that these four nodes fit on that cross-section point cloud. Um, if they fall within that tolerance, fall without, if they fall out of that tolerance, the extraction will stop and you'll see these additional options that become available to you to continue the extraction. Um, so therefore, if this goes to like, let's say 88%, it'll show here in the template confidence and you'll have these four options to continue. Uh, once I've set these, at four meters and 90%. I'm gonna just zoom out so you guys can see this in real time. I'm happy with these parameters that I've set. I can either hit enter or hit extract. I'll go ahead and click extract and I'll let it fire up. And as you can see down here at the bottom of my screen, there is a loading bar. And what this is doing is it's loading at every interval to 100%. So you know that the extraction is in the works. And at any point in time, you can stop the extraction here. I'm going to see how far this goes at 90%. It should stop right at, at the turn because the 90% is pretty accurate. It might do one bend to the left here. And you can see it stopped. And you can see that that template confidence fell below the 90% that I had set. So let me go ahead and zoom in over to this area. And so I want to go back here and show you some of the additional options. So I have the ability to undo certain intervals. So I can go back, let's say three, and I'll walk you through the next additional options. So the first one, we have edit template nodes with this radio button. So once I select, select that, I can come into my cutting plane view and I can grab any of these nodes and snap it to the point cloud. Um, so that gives you the ability to, you know, 
better align this as you continue the extraction. Um, and as I walk you through the next one, I'll pull this node three off and show you how the apply auto template works. So if I select that radio button, this is a essentially a better way to bypass the edit template nodes um, in which I can hit this guy for apply. And if it's within, if these four nodes are within 20 centimeters of this profile, it will best match all four nodes to the point cloud. So you wouldn't have to do the edit template nodes. Uh, the third option is the select next node point. So I'll select that guy. And what I can do here is go refer to a node. So what I'll do is refer to node two, which is the top of the curve here. And I'll go ahead and basically match this template that I have defined all the way up to the point where this curve starts to happen. So I'll zoom in here, and I think this is the segment that I want to attach to. And so I'll hit enter. And as you can see, I'm aligned to the start of this curve, and I'm ready to extract again. The fourth option that's available to you is the select search points. And this is a really good option made available to you in, in areas where data is sparse or you have these really hard turns um, around this bend or 90 degree turns, uh, you can come in here and basically just select right along the flow line or in the middle of the template that you defined. And you're with each click, you're defining that interval that it's going to extract at. And I will say that I've ran a lot of testing on this and even without these select search points, um, the extraction works just fine around this bin. But I just wanna demo these options for you. I'll go ahead and extract. And you'll be, be able to see each segment build out around here. Once it hits that last point, it will stop and then give me the ability to continue along the other side. So let me go ahead and zoom in here. I'll do my um, third option here to select the next node point. I'll get it back on that linear path. Make sure this works okay or aligns okay with the point cloud and I can hit a continue to extract. Um, for now, for the sake of time, I'll just go ahead and hit finish. Once I hit finish, I have the ability to go into my post QA QC tab over here at the top right. And as you can see, this looks, if you're familiar at all with the point extraction um, tool we have today in TBC, this is a very similar UI in the sense that you can shift over to each individual line and make your edits. Uh, you can ignore them. So let's say you have a curb and gutter pattern that doesn't um, have a fourth line. You can come in here and, and pan over to that and say ignore. Um, you can mark it for later and then add in a limit box over here on the right hand side. We also give you the ability to do the smooth line options to do a best fit line um, and also do a smooth curve. You can do these individually or apply them to all. I'll go ahead and apply them to all and I can come in here one last time again and set the line settings if I forgot it up front, um, at which point I'll go ahead and hit add all. And as you can see, this lines up pretty well with my curb island. 